Hey everybody, welcome to Faith with Katie. I'm Katie Souza. Today is an important broadcast. People are gonna get healed and delivered live on the broadcast today. So, we are broadcasting from KT Studios to all the nations. Please share the broadcast so people all over the world know that this is available to them. Okay, guys? I see people chatting on already. Look, if you're watching via Faith Television Network, get on also our social media pages, MyFaithTV.com, MyFaithTV on you, uh, on Facebook, sorry, and also Katie Souza on Facebook. Go there now. Chat in. Tell me where you're watching from. But most importantly, share the broadcast. We're going to be doing miracle working, healing, deliverance on this broadcast today as I talk to you about the light of Jesus Christ. No, it's not a new age teaching. We had the light first. God is light and there's no darkness in him. Okay, and we're, you're going to see that the light of Christ, Jesus is the light of the world. It is not something to make him look sparkly and glimmery and all, and all of that. It's a power. It's one of the characteristics of Christ's very nature. And it can bring deliverance and healing to you. So I want you to share the broadcast. I want you to get on right now. I see people chatting in and tell me where you're watching from. Looks like Veronica is tuning in from California. Welcome to you, Veronica. We've got Carol from Christ Church in New Zealand. Jane from Australia. That's the neighbors right there. Amen. Uh, Sonia's watching. Marion Dirks is watching from Sioux City, Iowa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We got Mary from the UK. Alby from Puerto Rico. Welcome, Alby from Puerto Rico. Adrian. Adrian is watching from Arlington, Texas. Deborah from uh, Centennial, Colorado. Welcome to all you guys right now. Uh, looks like Little Rock, Arkansas is on the line. Tiffany. Tiffany from Little Rock, Arkansas. We've got Anita from New York City. New York City. Needing some prayer up in New York City. Bridget from Germany. Uh, looks like Jason from Los Angeles, Felicia from Georgia, Don from Michigan. We got Nairobi, Kenya, King Joe on the line from Nairobi, Kenya. Welcome to Nairobi, Kenya. Rockford, Illinois is on, Hilton Head, South, um, Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, Brooklyn, New York, Clearwater, Florida, La Vida, Texas, Maui, Hawaii. I grew up on the Big Island. Welcome, Linda. Welcome, Linda. Carmela, Camila from Vancouver, BC. Deanna from Wichita Falls. We got um, Signal, uh, Michigan. Nancy on the line right now. Ohio's watching. Sissy from Ohio. We've got, or, um, or, oh uh, gosh, it's going so fast. Sorry. Ontario. We got Anna from Ontario. Keep, keep chatting in, guys. I see a lot of people. Still chatting in Knoxville, Tennessee, Louisiana, South Africa. Look, today's important. Share the broadcast. We're going to be moving in signs, wonders, and miracles today, getting deliverance today, and I need everybody online so they can get healing, a miracle, through the light of Jesus Christ, who is the light of the world. Okay, as we go into today's broadcast, we're going to show a selfie miracle testimony video. Now, this miracle happened, guys, when I was teaching this, what I'm going to teach today in Atlanta just a couple weeks ago, all right? You're going to see this woman got healed in her eyes, extraordinary healing in her eyes through this revelation. So if you have eye problems, ear problems, issues in your body, expect to get healed today. So uh, we got that miracle online right now. Let's give a look at it. So my name is Robin Altland. Uh, we're here in Roswell, Georgia. I've been at Life Center uh, Ministries here for over 30 years. And uh, while Katie was ministering this morning, she began to feel, ministering on the light, she began to feel like there needed to be um, healing in people's eyes. and. I immediately jumped up because for over five years, I have had a problem with the uh, moisture in my eyes gradually beginning to decrease. And I've gotten to the point where at night when I would try to wake up, I would literally have to put drops in my eyes because they would be so dry that I, I couldn't see. I literally couldn't see, I couldn't open my eyes. Um, and it was getting progressively worse. And of course the doctor said, you know, well, here's a, a great, 
pharmaceutical something and I just didn't feel like that was really what we needed to do. So when she began to talk about eyes this morning, that's the first thing that the Lord quickened to my spirit was, I wanna heal that, that condition. And one of the ways that it would manifest is during the day, if I went to rub my eyelids, um, underneath the, the backside of my eyelids were so raw and so dry that it felt like raw meat. And if I would touch my eyelids, it would feel like needles stabbing in because my eye was so dry that it would be just like sand scraping across it. So when we began to pray and she began to speak the light and the life and I was uh, the person standing in front of me was holding up her hands and that light was coming in, she said to me, she said, I saw your eyes just kind of pop for a minute. And, and I really felt like, okay, Lord, this is, I, I, I believe I've received this. So the first thing I did was reach up and begin to try to rub my eyes to see. And there was absolutely no pain, no sensation of dryness at all. And so I've been doing like this. Um, uh, for a while just to see. It's like, come on, there's got to be some place that's still dry. There was nothing. All the pain is gone. Uh, my eyes have a normal moisture to them now. And it, I mean, I'm just like, this is amazing how God spoke the healing. I received it. And I now have a testimony that I intend to take back to my doctor. <laughs> That's something, isn't it? Oh my gosh, her eyes underneath her lids felt like raw meat. She told me after I talked to her, um, after the miracle happened, that it was like gravel, sand. She'd rub her eyes and it would feel like it's just grinding into her eyeballs because it was so dry. Look, this revelation is real. We are talking about the light of Christ today. Before we get into the teaching, don't forget, send me your selfie miracle testimony video. Look, guys, don't make me twist your arm. If you love me, and you've ever had anything happen on this broadcast or in one of the meetings, please get your phone out, put it in the landscape uh, position, videotape yourself doing two minutes, two minutes of a selfie miracle testimony. Tell me what happened, what was wrong, what you were suffering from. Tell me what the doctors said about it. Tell me how long you had it. And then tell me what the Lord did when he touched you in the meeting or through a resource or through this broadcast. And then send it to selfies at katiesouza.com. Selfies at katiesouza.com. All right, we're about to get in the teaching. Also, don't forget, we've got um, Faith Now. Faith Now. I'm, I'm starting to see people when I go out. They say, I've got faith now, Kate. I've got faith now. Yes, yay, come on. Faith now is the best way to soak yourself into a miracle, into a breakthrough, into a deliverance, into a healing, because it's got Katie TV on it, 24 and seven, our broadcasting. What do we do in this broadcast? We get people healed through the power of Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. It's 24 and seven, our broadcasting. You can put it on at night and it'll just play and you'll receive and receive and receive as it soaks in. Put it on in your car, put it on when you're in the bathroom, put it on when you're getting ready for work, okay? KDTV is on faith now, so is Sid Ross, it's supernatural, so is the Victory TV, so are thousands of churches, hundreds and hundreds of clean God birth, Holy Ghost movies, clean entertainment for your family to enjoy without you having to worry about cussing or, or horrible things coming on the screen in front of your children. And Faith Now is only $1.99. That's right, a buck, 99. Look, I, th I think French fries are more than that, okay? So go to faithnow.net, faithnow.net. Sign up, and you know what, guys? When, it, when you do that, it helps me support the prison ministry. We have 4,000 prisons. I need you. $1.99 is, it's little skin off your neck every month and you get so much from it, so much, and I get to keep blessing the prisons. Okay, go to faithnow.net, sign up for the monthly, the monthly um, subscription, and there's a place that's promo code, promo code. Put in Katie TV, get a month for free, and that tells everybody at Faith Television that you signed up because you guys are supporting us. Okay, thank you, thank you. People are online, we got Greenfield, South Carolina on the line, uh, Rebecca from San Diego, we got Norway watching, Colorado Springs, Texas, Nambia, um, Cleveland, Ohio, San Bernardino, New Jersey, Austin, Texas, Virginia Beach, Australia, again right there, thank you for tuning in. We've got Oklahoma, 
<clears throat> we got a lot of people chatting in right now. Thank you, guys. Oh, somebody said, Katie, you were fabulous on Sid Roth this week. Let me just mention that. Sid Roth replayed our broadcast that features my book, Be Revived. You know, they rarely replay a broadcast. Rarely. Why did they choose us? Because they believe in this message. This is a message about destroying the spirit of death. Look, death is aging you. Death is hitting your organs. Death is causing your um, death to come to your ministries, your finances, your businesses, your relationships. Hey, we got to get away from the spirit of death. This has the keys to it. The keys. I've seen so many people, dead bones come back to life. People who are dying come back to life. Be revived. Go to our website and get it. All right. Let's go into today's teaching. Thank you, Lord. Okay, look, we're talking about the light of Jesus Christ. I told you earlier, this is not a New Age message. It's not a witchcraft message. Jesus is the light of the world. God is light and there is no darkness in him. That's why when God spoke, the first thing he said is, let there be light. Why? Because he was creating the very thing that he is. He is light. So the first thing out of his mouth was who he is. Now, Jesus is the light of the world. But look at this scripture that really explains how much that reality is true about Christ being our light. Let's look at this scripture. I put it up on the board so you can see it with your own eyes. Hebrews 1.3. Check it out. He, meaning Christ, is the sole expression of the glory of God, the light being, the outraying or radiance of the divine. And he is the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature. Okay, look, check it out, guys. Jesus is a light being. He is the divine radiance of of God. And according to that scripture, he is the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature. Now, guess where that light being lives? Right here. He lives in you. And if you could see inside your spirit man, you would see light, the light of Christ, the light of the world, the light being outraying from your spirit being into the rest of your soul and your body. For what purpose? For what purpose? Well, the scripture there says that, that Jesus is the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature. How many of you know that light, like when you do um, photo optics, is that right, guys? Cable, photo optic cables? Fiber. What is it? Fiber optic cables. Fiber optic cables carry information from point A to point B via light waves, via laser lights, because light can carry information so what does that have to do with Jesus being a light being and him living in you? Because according to that scripture, it says that he outrays the radiance of the divine, meaning he's constantly outraying that radiance of God and he's outraying what the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature onto every part of your being, your mind, will, and emotions. So you think God's thoughts, you make decisions directed by God, you have God birthed emotions. Jesus is constantly outraying his light beams onto your physical body to imprint God's very nature on your physical body. Look, what's God's nature concerning physical healing? Jesus gave his life. By his stripes you have been healed. Okay? It is God's will for you to walk in divine healing. It's God's will for you to have peace of mind and to think like him, to make decisions like him, and have emotions that are birth of the Spirit of the Lord. And Jesus outrays information, God's nature, his very nature, onto every part of your being. Okay, like, you know how they make photographs from a negative? They take the negative, they put photographic paper down, and they shine light through the negative, the dark negative, and that light takes that image and reverses it and makes a positive image on the photographic paper. See, this is what Christ, who is the light of the world, who is a light being, who outrays the radiance of God's divine nature, that's what he's doing. He's going through all the dark negatives in your life. All the bad thoughts, all the bad feelings, all the crises, all the stressors. All, all, all the sicknesses, all the diseases. He's shining his light through all those dark negatives 
and then he's imprinting God's character, his perfect nature. He's imprinting a positive from that negative onto your life, your mind, your will, your emotions, your body, your family, your ministry, your money, and every part of your life. And he uses his light to do it. Look, this is not a new age teaching. Again, this is the truth. You have Christ in you, the hope of glory, right now. Jesus, the quote, light being, is living in you. Let's put that scripture back up. I want you to say these decrees with me, okay? Ready? Let's read it together. Say, he is the sole expression of the glory of God, the light being, the outraying or radiance of the divine. And he is the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature. Okay, now come back to me. <clears throat> I want you to put your hand on your belly and your heart right now and say these words with me. Just say, Lord, thank you for living inside of me. You're the light of the world. You're a light being. And you're outraying God's perfect image and his nature onto my mind, so I think right thoughts, my will, so I make right decisions, and my emotions, so I have God birthed, positive, Holy Spirit emotions. Say, Jesus, I thank you that you're filling every part of my soul and my body with your light. And you're sending the image of God into every part that I need it. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> thank you, Lord. Excuse the voice, guys. I just came back from from Robert Henderson and I preached four sessions. So, okay, I'm gonna send me some light on my throat. Okay, look, it's important to understand that Jesus' light is a power. It is the Holy Spirit in us. And when we release it with our decrees and our words, it can cause us to be transformed, healed, delivered. It produces fruit in our life. Let's look at Ephesians 5, 9 right now. Ephesians 5, 9. Look at this. I love this. <clears throat> it says, for the fruit, the effect, the product of the light or the spirit consists in every form of kindly goodness, uprightness of heart, and trueness of life. Now, we're going to stay on this board, and I'm going to explain something here. Notice it says the light here is capital L. You know what that means? Why, why do they capitalize the word light here? Because it's talking about Jesus Christ, who is the light being, who is the light of the world. And you notice how it says the fruit or the effect, the product of the light or the spirit, the light or the spirit. What does that mean? <clears throat> Look, they're interchangeable. The light is the spirit. The spirit of God is the light. You see, you have the spirit of Christ living in you. It's the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is the light of the world. So thus, the light, the Spirit is light because he's the Spirit of Christ. Amen? Now, check it out. Look at that board again. It says, for the fruit, the effect, the product of the light comes in every form of kindly goodness, uprightness of heart, and trueness of life. Meaning, guys, when you decree the light of Christ is filling you in every dark place, what happens? You get fruit. You get an effect. You get a product. You get, you, you get results. This says that you get kindly goodness of brightness of heart and trueness of life. Wow, that's amazing. So when you start decreeing the light of Christ is filling you, you're going to see fruit. You're going to see kindly goodness. You're going to see all those attitude problems breaking away. You're going to see uprightness of heart, meaning this areas where you've fallen into sin or where you've gotten bitter or angry are going to shift and you're going to start to walk in righteousness of rightness of heart. You're going to see the fruit or the effect of the trueness of life. What is that? Trueness of life means health, healing, 
deliverance, wholeness, joy, peace, your family prospering. It means all those things. That's what the fruit or the effect of the light of Christ living in you, the Holy Spirit does for you. Put your hand on your belly right now. And I want you to repeat after me. Say, for the fruit, the effect, the product of the light or the spirit is kindly goodness, uprightness of heart, and trueness of life. Now keep decreeing with me because see, this is how you're getting healed. Say, Lord, I release the light of the world, the light being Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit from inside my spirit man out, out into my mind, my will, and my emotions and my physical body to produce fruit, fruit for healing, fruit for deliverance, fruit for breakthrough, fruit for peace. I decree, come on, keep on praying with me. Say, I decree, I'm flooded with light and there is no darkness in me. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord, amen. Thank you, Lord, amen. Are you guys getting this? Are you praying with me? Look, it's important that you decree these things. I'll tell you why. Let me tell you why. I want you to decree them out loud. Don't just be a spectator. Don't just watch this broadcast. You need to get involved. You need to engage. You need to be a part of it. And you need to open your mouth and decree these decrees after me. Why? Let's look what the word voice means in the New Testament. We're going to put that up on the board right now. Check this out. <clears throat> the etymology of the word voice is related to the Greek word phaino, which means this, to bring forth into the light, to cause to shine, to shed light to shine, to be bright or resplendent, to become evident, to be brought forth into the light. What does this mean, guys? This means that the Holy Spirit, who is light, is the Spirit of Christ, who is the light of the world. Jesus, the light being, lives in you, in your spirit, man, right now. If you're born again in Christ, he lives in you. Your mouth, your words, your decrees are the gateway that releases that light to destroy darkness wherever you're having resistance, a problem, that you need breakthrough, that you need manifestation, that you need healing. Your voice is the gateway. That's why you've got to open your mouth, guys, and decree it. Decree it. Decree it with me. If you're decreeing it with me, would you please say, I'm decreeing it with you, Kate. I'm decreeing it. I'm decreeing it. I'm decreeing it. Look, let me prove it to you. Job 22, 28. Let's look at that up on the board. Check this out. It says this. Thou shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light will shine upon thy ways. Do, do, do you hear that, guys? We, we say that scripture a lot. We go around quoting it. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. But we don't finish the, the, the verse. The reason why when we decree things, they are established is because when we open our mouth, our mouth is that gateway that allows the light of Christ, the light being to come up and out our mouth and it goes, light travels, scientific proof, scientific fact, light travels at 186,000 miles per second and it travels out our spirit from our, out our mouth when we decree, goes through that thing that we're, that we're battling against, that, that resistance, that sickness, that, that disorder, that lack. That, that divorce, that separation, that, that, that problem with relationships, it goes towards that and it breaks the darkness off of it. That's why when you decree a thing, it is established because the light shines upon your ways. Did you hear what I said? Okay, now I want you to think about that thing that's giving you problems right now. Put it inside your mind. In fact, in fact chat it in. Chat in. What are you battling with? Is it a mindset? 
Are you being swarmed with thoughts, horrible thoughts, condemning thoughts, sinful thoughts, thoughts of the trauma, thoughts of memories that you've had to live through, thoughts of what people have said to you? Are you battling with emotions in, in, inside your soul? You're, you're turbulent. You, you, you feel out of control. Are you battling with a physical sickness, something in your body that's happening to you? Or maybe it's an issue with your marriage or your children or your finances. Chat in right now what you're battling with because we're about to release <laughs> the light of the world. Jesus Christ, the light being, who's the perfect imprint and very image of God's nature. And he outrays that information, that imprint of God into every place that you need a breakthrough. Chat in right now. I'm going to just read some of the, the chats just so we know what people are dealing with right now. It says, I have laziness. Uh, I have issues in my household. My neck, my, my, uh, my stomach. I've got a, a tumor in my body. I, I've got anger and health problems, hypertension, broken relationships, mindsets, traumas, son ha son's health, delays, setbacks, wearies, accelerated skin sagging, eye issues, problems with the liver, problems with the husband, problems with corruption in my nation problems with household family members okay keep chatting in what's your issue because we're gonna decree the light onto the darkness of that problem and we're gonna get healed because your decrees are established because the light shines upon your ways okay ready just have that thing in your mind right now okay and remember open your mouth because the word voice means to shine, to shed forth light, to be bright, to be resplendent. Okay, ready? Say, Lord God, pray with me, come on. Say, Lord God, I open my mouth. And as I do, the light of Jesus Christ, the light being, is outraying onto that thing that's resisting the breakthrough that problem that will not bend the knee. I release my decree that the light of the world, Jesus Christ, is outraying God's character and His nature, the very imprint of His image onto that situation right now. As I decree this thing, it is being established because the light is shining upon my ways. Say, Lord God, in Jesus' name, I use my decrees to dispel all darkness that are holding my breakthrough hostage. I shine light on that problem right now the light of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And I decree these things and my decrees are established because his light is shining upon my ways. Now say amen. And why don't you start praising God right now? Because how many of you know the word halal or praise in uh, Psalms 111 one means to flash forth light? That's right. Your praise releases light. That's why we can't, gotta stop complaining about everything. We gotta stop grumbling. We gotta stop talking bad about people. We gotta stop criticizing and being judgmental. Because when we do that, we're only releasing darkness. Darkness doesn't heal. Darkness doesn't break through. Darkness doesn't fix anything. That's why when we praise God, the word praise means hala. It's hala in Hebrew. It means to flash forth light. That woman that you saw that her eyes were like hamburger, the, the, the flesh in her eyes were like hamburger because they were so dry. You know how she got healed? We just sat there and started praising the Lord and releasing light through our praise. So just start thanking God right now. Thank you, Lord. We release our thanksgiving to you, God. You are so good. You are amazing. You are working on our behalf right now. You're making things happen. You're breaking through for us. You're showing yourself mighty. You are the light of the world. You are the light being. You are outraying your power.
onto every situation. We give you a holla praise right now in the name of Jesus. Our praise is releasing more light. It's flashing forth light, flashing forth light to destroy the darkness, destroy the darkness right now in Jesus' name, right now in the name of Jesus, right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, praise him for 10 more seconds. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We honor you, light of the world. We give glory to your name. We thank you for destroying darkness right now and bringing breakthrough. We give you the honor and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Ooh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Look, I'm going to put up an, uh, uh, I, I hope I'm going to put up a, a link to a teaching I just did about this. Four sessions, guys. I did four sessions of light teaching. Do we have that at all, guys? We have the graphic, but we don't have the link. We're going to put up the graphic. I want you to go to the website, what, guys, in the next week or so? Mm -hmm. In the next week, and get Sons of the Light. Sons of the Light. It's brand new. I do four sessions in this, and you can go through them with me, and I probably activate you like we're doing right now at least 50 times, at least. I'm in the midst of uh, writing and recording a soaker. I'm matching soaker to go with it so you can have it at night or in your car or whatever and play it over yourself and just have so much light filling you that all darkness of disease, of disorder, of wrong thinking, of financial lack, anything that's dark, anything that's dark will be destroyed in your life. Okay, so go to our website, katiesouza.com, katiesouza.com, and look at our research page. It'll be coming hot. It's going to go hot in like another week or so, and it's called Sons of the Light. Sons of the Light. Look, we're speaking, and as we're doing, it's releasing light from our spirit man out our mouth, out to that place to establish that decree. But your hands also release light. Your praise releases light. Your words releases light. Your voice releases light. Your hands release light. Well, how so? There's a scripture in Job, and it says, um, Job 36, 32, it says this, God covers his hands with lightning and commands it to strike the mark. How many of you know we're made in God's image? Hello? We are made in God's image. If God covers his hands with lightning and commands, that's the voice, that's the speaking, that's the decree, it to strike its mark, it will. I... I Listen, this sounds crazy, but that woman you saw with the meat, her eyes felt like meat. I had everybody take their hand and put it in front of their eye. Keep their eyes open and look into the palms of their hands. Because you have light coming out of your hands. You think, oh, this is crazy talk. It's right there in the Bible. Hello? And I had her command, shine light into her eyes by commanding. Commanding. And she got healed. Boom, just like that. I just came back from Robert Henderson's place. People got healed of cataracts. People got healed of floaters. People got healed of, of all kinds of um, attacks and issues in their eyes. You know what? You can do that too. You can have your hand open and you can point it and look at your hand and have lightning. It says lightning. He commands it to strike the mark. Shoot into your eyes. I had a woman that I was in. I was in uh, Oklahoma, no, Alabama, no, Nashville, sorry, there's so many of them, and uh, she had her eyes were, were gray and foggy, and her eyes were once brown, she was going blind. I just put my hand in front of her eyes and started decreeing all these scriptures, and she blinked and opened her eyes, and they were brown again. The guy sitting across the hallway who was a skeptic, he had his arms crossed looking at me like, yeah, right, this is ridiculous, and then all of a sudden he started screaming, he goes, I saw that, I saw that, her eyes were gray and now they're brown. He followed me to another meeting. I was talking about the story and he was in the back. He jumped up. He said, that's me. I'm the one that saw it. Look, you can lay hands on, you know, your, you can look in your eyes. You can lay hands on, you know, your body. If you have diabetes, if you have heart trouble, you have lung trouble, you have a um, bladder infection, you have pain. Lay hands on your body and decree these scriptures. Amen. So let's do that right now. Lay hands. Lay hands. If it's your mind that's going crazy, lay hands on your mind. If it's your emotions, lay hands over here to signify your emotions. If it's your physical body, find that spot, that sore, lay hands on it right now. And say this with me. Say, Lord God, in Jesus' name, I am created in the image of Father God. And Job says that God covers his hands with lightning 
and they strike their mark. And he commands it, and they strike their mark. Say, Lord, I command the light of Christ that's in me, the Holy Spirit, to flash forth light through my voice, through my hands, to destroy pain, disease, disorder, all afflictions in my physical body, torment in my mind, issues in my emotions, and to fill me with the light of Jesus Christ, to break me free from every bit of darkness in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now say amen and start thanking God. Remember your praise. Praise is the Hebrew word halal, and it means to flash forth light. So God, we praise you. You're sending light, the light of Christ from everyone's spirit man. He's the light of the world and his light brings life. You're sending out the life-giving power of your light. Right now, we thank you. We thank you. You're sending out the life-giving power of your light into every place that everyone online watching needs it, into their mind, into their emotions, into their physical body, into their finances, into their children, into their marriage. Right now, you're dispelling darkness. We praise you for it. We praise you. We give you the honor, the glory, and the praise right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, and as we thank you, we halal you, we praise you, then you're going to flash forth your light to bring breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough right now as you dispel darkness with our decrees, establishing our decrees, because the light is shining upon our ways. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, are you guys getting this? Is this making sense to you? Some people say, oh my God, this and that, witchcraft teaching. Oh, look at pages, pages, pages and pages, pages and pages of light scriptures. Go to the Bible, check it out yourself. You don't believe me? Check it out yourself. Look, the light heals your soul. Let me prove it. Isaiah 30, 26, check this out. <clears throat> says, Moreover, the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, like the light of seven days concentrated in one. In the day that the Lord binds up the hurt of his people and heals their wound inflicted by him because of their sins. This is a lot to unpack. We'll come back to that scripture just in a second, but leave it on the screen for me, but come back to me. And let me talk to you about this. Look, how many of you know <laughs> that, the, uh, that sin wounds you? Sin wounds you. That's what this Bible says. It says the Lord binds up the hurts of his people and heals their wound inflicted by, by their sin. Look, if you sin, you, you, you gossip, you, you, you judge, you get bitter, um, you drink, you take pills, you watch too many movies with too much filth in it. Uh, you, you, you get angry at people, all those sins and more. I mean, wow, well, name them, right? Name them. They can actually wound your soul, wound your soul. That's why it says God it binds up the hurts of his people and heals their wound. Okay. Those sins can wound us. Even stuff from the past we haven't dealt with yet. You know, like, yeah, we, re we repented. That's great. We should always repent of all sin, but maybe we never got actually healed of the wound that sin put on us and that wound will wound our, that sin will wound our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. That word wound there doesn't talk about like a knife wound. It means the pain, the griefs, the pressures that happen in the soul realm. When your soul gets wounded, you can't get healed. You can't get the breakthrough. It, it stops you down from seeing manifestation because the Bible says you'll prosper, that's your money, and be in health, that's your physical healing, even as your soul prospers. Look, prosperity of soul. You got to get your soul healed and then you'll start seeing breakthroughs for finances, breakthroughs in your business, ministry, breakthrough, breakthroughs in your soul realm. And then that helps you and, and, and ushers you into healing in your physical body. Now, according to this, God binds up the hurts of his people and heals their wounds. 
that came from their sins. How does he do it? Let's go back to the board. Look at how it says this. Moreover, the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, like the light of seven days concentrated in one. What is this talking about? It's talking about an intensity, an increase of the light of his son, Jesus Christ, on this earth. What, he, what God is saying here is, this is a prophetic word from the prophet Isaiah. He's saying, look, there's coming a day. <laughs> Remember, I say it's the guy that prophesied all about the Christ coming. There's coming a day when moonlight will be like sunlight. Wow, that's a that's an increase. That's a radical increase. Go out and look at the moon one night and then look at the sun the next morning. Way big difference in the intensity of light. Then it even says then one day sun, sunlight, sunlight, Jesus is the son of righteousness. One day sunlight will become like seven days of sunlight. So God hears, this is the prophetic word from Isaiah saying, there's going to be an intensity of my son's light on this planet. Why? For the purpose of what? Healing up, the, binding up the hurt of his people and healing their wounds inflicted because of him, by him, because of his, their sins. Jesus's light is being intensified in this earth for the purpose of healing the wounded areas in your soul that came from sin, from trauma, from ancestral issues. What kind of pain are you feeling right now in your soul? Can you feel oppression inside you right now? Are you still carrying the guilt of a sin? Have you been traumatized? What is it? Because there's an acceleration of light available to you right now. Jesus is the light of the world and his light brings life. His light brings life. Lay hands on your belly. Okay, lay hands on your belly right now. And you know what? Also lay hands on your head because a lot of you are battling, oh God, you're battling right now in your minds. You are being attacked and assaulted in your minds. So lay hands on your, on your head because remember, he covers his hands with lightning and commands it to strike the mark. Lay hands on your belly for that, those emotional wounds, those, those wounds that came from any sin or trauma in you. And say it with me now. Say, Lord God, your prophet Isaiah, he spoke the prophetic word that said there would be an increase of your son's light in the earth for the purpose of binding up our wounds and healing our hurts. So Lord, in the name of Jesus, I release the magnified intensified radiance of Christ's light from my inner man, from my spirit man, into my soul to heal every wound that came from my sin, that came from trauma, that came from warfare, that came from stressful events, that came from crises in the name of Jesus. Say, I command darkness to be dispelled, all soul wounds to be healed, and all darkness in my inner man to be filled with accelerated light, the light of Christ in Jesus' name. Now start giving him the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. We thank you. Okay, now we're going to move faster. Now we're going to go to Malachi 4.2. Malachi 4.2. We only have 14 minutes left. My goodness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying? Does this make sense to you? If it does, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up in the chat right now. Because I want to make sure you're being helped. That's why we're here. If I'm not here to help you, then I should just quit or fire myself. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, give me a thumbs up. Give, say a thank you, Jesus. Let me know. Okay, now we're going to go to Malachi 4.2. Look at this. The light of Christ heals your soul and your physical body. Check this out. It says, but unto you who revere and worshipfully fear my name shall the son of righteousness. That's Jesus, the light of the world arise with healing 
in his wings and his beams. And you shall go forth and gamble like calves, released from the stall and leap for joy. Wow, wings and beams. Why does the Amplified say that Jesus arises on you with healing in his wings and his beams? Because like in the King James, it just says the wings. Why add the beams? Because of what the word arise there means. Let's look at it. It means this, ready? To irradiate or shoot forth beams, i.e. to rise as the sun. So according to this, Jesus arises on you with healing, and when he does, he irradiates you with his light. He shoots forth beams of light. He is the light of the world. He is a light being. He is the outraying radiance of the divine Father God. He is the perfect image of God, a perfect image of his character and his nature, and he transmits that truth to you through his beams of light, through his beams of light, through his beams of light. Let's put Malachi 4.2 back up there. Look. And those beams, they heal your soul and your body. The word healing there, it's the word marpe. And guess what it means? It means tranquility of mind. That's your soul. Your mind is part of your soul. That's you being peaceful. When your soul is peaceful, your soul is healed. Okay? But it also means a cure. To take like a medicine. Meaning the light can cure you. I've seen autism be healed from the light of Jesus Christ. We have that video somewhere online. Somebody can find it, I don't know. Okay, I mean, I've seen autism being healed. I've seen shingles being healed. I've seen viruses and bacteria being healed when people soaked in the light of Jesus Christ, when they did these decrees that we're doing right now. I, I, I've seen edemas being healed. I've seen eyes being healed, cataracts disappearing, floaters disappearing, dry eye be healed, all kinds of eye diseases be healed. I've seen ears being healed, buzzing, ringing, deafness, um, infections in the ears. I mean, when Jesus Christ, the Son of Righteousness, arises on you with healing, it cures you. Healing in his wings and his beams. Beams of light. The beams of light, they cure you. That's what the word healing means, a cure. And it also means to take like a medicine. What does that mean? What do you do with a medicine? I don't take medicines, but I take like supplements. I take vitamins and I take them regularly, regularly. They don't work if you only take them like once every week. They work when you take them every single day. This is something you should be doing every single day. You should come back to this video and decree it with me over and over again. All right, let's do it right now. Because right now, the son of righteousness, Jesus Christ, the light of the world, the light being, the outraging radiance of the divine is going to rise on you with healing, healing in his wings and his beams of light. You're going to get healed in your soul. Healing means tranquility of mind and cured in your body. Cured in your body. Lay hands on any place you need it. Mind, body, wherever. And just say, Lord God, I decree the son of righteousness is arising on me now with healing in his wings and his beams of light. See, the light of Jesus Christ is filling me right now, healing my mind, will, and emotions, and curing me in my physical body of any and all assaults in my ears, my eyes, my cells, my bones, and any of the 12 systems, nervous system, respiratory system, reproductive system, digestive system, lymphatic system, skeletal system, saying, I am filled with the light of Christ, filled with the light, filled with the light of Christ. Filled with the light of Christ because Jesus is arising on me. Keep praying with healing. Healing in his wings and his beams. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lori, you said you keep falling asleep while saying the prayers. It's all right, girl. You're going into what the Bible calls a sleep or a trance because you're getting delivered right now. You're just re receive my decrees. 
Receive my decrees. You're just being taken in that deep place right now. In Jesus' name. One more. And then I'm going to command demonic spirits to come off of you. Luke 11, 34 through 36. Look. I love this. It says the eye is the lamp of the body. When your eye or conscience is sound and fulfilling its office, your whole body is full of light. Come back to me. Do you know what the word eye there is? The eye. It says the eye or the conscience. What's your conscience? It's part of your soul. It's part of your mind. The eye is called the window to the soul. So it says when your eye or your soul is sound and fulfilling its office, it's for a reason. Why? Because your whole body is full of light. What does that mean to be sound and fulfilling your office? Look, your mind was created to hold a particular office, to think right thoughts, to reason rightly, to have clean memory bank, clean imagination, okay? It says here that your mind will be sound of fulfilling its office correctly when what? Your whole body's full of light. Your will was created to do an office in you. God created your will to make good choices led by the Holy Spirit, not by the grief that you're in or the pain that you're in or the fact that you're angry and bitter at somebody your will is not supposed to be guided by your wounded soul it's supposed to be guided by the holy ghost and your will will be sound and fulfilling its office when your whole body's full of light same with your emotions your emotions will be sound and fulfilling their office you'll have god given holy spirit fruit of the spirit emotions when what your whole body is full of light put your hand on top of your head right now and say lord god my hand is covered with lightning and i command it to strike its mark I release the light of Christ, the light being, the light of the world, to fill my mind, will, and emotions. And I decree, I'm sound. My mind is sound and fulfilling its office, thinking right thoughts, reasoning rightly, having a clean imagination, and a healed memory bank because my whole body's full of light. Say, my will is sound and fulfilling its office because there's no darkness, no wounds controlling my decisions. I have the light, which is life. So my will is controlled and guided by the Holy Spirit, not my wounded soul. And say, my emotions are sound and fulfilling its office because my whole body is full of light. So I have fruit of the spirit emotions. Say, I use the light of Christ to destroy depression, anxiety, fear, loneliness, anger, bitterness, critical spirit and any and all afflictions in Jesus' name. Now let's give God a praise for like 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna start decreeing deliverance. Father, we thank you. Your light is flowing into everyone watching right now, destroying, destroying every wound, driving out every bit of darkness, of wrong thinking, of wrong decisions, of, of tormenting emotions. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus, that your light, you are the light of the world. Your light is bringing life to their body, life to their organs, life to their cells, life to their skin, life to their eyes, life to their ears. We praise you, Jesus, that your light, which brings life, you are the light being, is healing every part of their mind, every part of their will and emotions, their physical bodies, and every other area of their life. As we decree these things, Lord, we thank you because our decrees are being established because the light is shining upon our ways. Thank you. Now, put your hands out. Father, in Jesus' name, just receive. Don't pray, please, now. I'm going to pray for you. Father, in Jesus' name. I ask and I command that every tormenting spirit that is coming after them, that has been uh, getting a legal landing strip in their soul, that they, that spirit be judged in the court of heaven and have to come out right now. 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 Come out right now in the name of Jesus and life. Life, the light which is life. Thank you, Jesus. The light which is life. I release it now in Jesus' name. Now, quickly, chat in. We only have three minutes left.
Chat in if you felt, if you yawned or were burping, got sleepy, had eyes watering, ears watering, nose watering, got hot, felt energy, um, have less pain. I command pain to go. I command pain to go in your body right now. I command disease to go right now. I rebuke disease in the name of Jesus. I command all disease to die, all viruses, tumors, cancers to die in the name of Jesus right now, in the name of Jesus right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Okay, right. Thank you, guys. Now, chat in. Let's see what kind of response we're getting right now. So, I've got coughing, yawning. I yawned. I got sleepy. I got sleepy. Eyes watering. Itchy nose. Face twitching. Yawning. Yawning. Sleepy. Shivers. Burping. Yawning. Nose running. I got very sleepy. Amen. I burped. Uh, sleepy. Heat. God felt heat. Something came out of my ear. Thank you, Jesus. Got totally set free. Yawning, quickening. We live by faith. I receive it in Jesus' name. Shivers. T uh, uh, sleepy, yawning. Got some goosebumps. Sleepy, yawning, yawning. I got sleepy, shaking. Sleepy, yawning. Right now. Uh, any? Uh, let me know if you have any uh, water expulsion. Breathing slowly. Started sweating. <laughs> Somebody said I passed gas. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yawning, had pain in elbows. Now just pain in the one elbow. Can keep soaking. Uh, this is a um, on-time word. Heat, sleepy, yawning, peace like a river. Eyes watering. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Look, guys, I want you to go back and soak to this over and over. Replay it. Watch it. People are getting delivered online. People are still chatting in. Somebody said clearer vision. In fact, look at a white piece of paper if you have spots or, or cataracts and just stare at it while you're decreeing these scriptures and they're going to, the, the spots are going to disappear. Right. Somebody said nausea. Okay, good. Keep on soaking. And look, now we're going to, I want you to remember, go to katiesouza.com. katiesouza.com. Go to the resource um, section because in a week, we are releasing the Sons of the Light. Sons of the Light teaching in like a week. You can go four sessions of this, of me decreeing, and I walk you through deliverance of eye problems, ear problems, um, and stuff that's happening in your body, in your finances, okay? Four sessions, like I think there's like 50 sets of decrees. There's so many. It's just amazing. Somebody says they saw light. Somebody said it was electrifying. Somebody said they have warmness in their throat. Somebody said um, uh, yawning. Uh, might need my gums and teeth healed. Keep soaking to this because the light will destroy that bacteria in your gums and your throat. Thank you, Lord. Guys, keep chatting in. I'm going to be praying over these after we go. We only have 15 seconds left. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Don't forget to get online, katiesouza.com, and get Sons of the Light. Sons of the Light. Amen. So that you guys can get a breakthrough. It'll be coming out in a week, and we'll see you next week.